What's up, YouTube? This is Matt C here with a full review on the Lenovo ThinkPad T440P. Let's get started, shall we? So recently I just unboxed the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T440P. And it was a quick unboxing just to show you the outside of the computer and everything like that. And now I just want to, I have the time and I want to do a nice full review on it. I got it up and running. I uh, uploaded all my information, downloaded some programs on it. And just want to get you guys a good basis on this. There's not really any ThinkPad T440P's reviews out there. So um, I'm going to show you, get a good review in here and show you the things I don't like. I, I do like stuff like that. So, uh... First, before we get to the computer, let's just go over the new power brick that came with the system. This is the new power brick. It is a little bit big and a little bulky, but charges the computer fast. A lot of power with the new square power adapter. Okay, um, when I unboxed the T440S, the power brick was much smaller than this. Uh, so, a little surprising. That's this big, but it's a bigger battery in here. Got the six cell in there, your AC wall adapter. Um, so let's do an obligatory around the horn on ports here, just so if you didn't watch my unboxing, you get a good sense. We'll start at the back. First, you have your RJ45 full Ethernet port. Your nice hinges that are signature ThinkPad, your square power adapter. Some grills for ventilation on that side and this side. A full VGA port, a Combo microphone headphone jack 3.5 millimeters, your mini display port, USB, USB, SD card reader. Uh, this slot is your speaker on the front. Your combo CD, DVD drive recordable, USB powered, and I believe this is another USB, and I believe these are both 3.0s, and the others are 2.0s, and your Kensington lock slot. Um, on the bottom, um, your battery is, I'll show you the size of the battery. This is the standard six cell battery size. This does fit in the ThinkPad T440 and the T440S. Um, lithium ion, obviously. 57 plus wattage on here. Um, this does not have power bridge in it. The only laptop to feature power bridge is the T440S, which means there's a three cell here and then an op another three cell or six cell. This just has one six cell, or you could get the option for the nine cell battery, which is a little sticks out of the back just a little bit. Um, here, here, and that is it. These two slots here are for your keyboard drainage. Let's do a little zoom in on there. Keyboard drains. So you could, obviously they're saying you could spill a whole glass of anything, liquid, and it should come out right through here from the keyboard. Um, you got your docking port, little feet to keep this thing up. And as you can see, nothing is like on the older thing pads, you would have like a little slot here for your memory, slot here for hard drive. No, it is all one unit that only has two screws to remove, one and one. And this just slides off, and you got at your uh, memory. This model features an i7 uh, 3.7 gigahertz processor. Um, it's got 12 gigabytes of RAM in it. It's got a NVIDIA GeForce uh, display, one gig display card. This has a full HD um, 1080p display. Um, it is Energy Star rated. And one thing to note about the new ThinkPads is that the logos face the world. Um, I'll show you that here. The logos face the world. The ThinkPad, the Lenovo, they're facing the u the world, not the user where they were flipped. Um, also, it's got this new texture. It's nice, soft touch. Um, I like it. People are a little on the edge about it, but I like it. I think it's nice and smooth, nice color. Um, now, 
I have one question to ask all your other ThinkPad T440P users out there. And that is... Where your... Your case meets like the um, arm pass... Ar arm rest, sorry. Uh, part. There's like a little lip there. When the computer's open, now it's closed. And it's a little sharp and it's a little annoying when you're like using the trackpad. I want to know, and please leave a comment in the comment section below. Does anybody else feel that that's a problem for them? This little lip that's right around here when the computer's open. If it is, put it down so I know I'm not the only one. If it's not, put that also down so I can return this and get a new one. And because it's very annoying. And I'm on, because I really don't want to return and then get a new one. But, um, I will if, if it's not supposed to be like that. If it is, I'll live with it. If it's not, I'm returning it. This has Windows 8 Pro on it. So now let's get into the computer. So, right away, um, you got the new chiclet style keyboard that's very solid. Um, Intel i7, fourth generation Haswell processor with vPro. It's got the new one button trackpad. Your 720p HD webcam. Let me hold on here. Let me fix you. All right. Let's tighten this up. All right, so your 720 HD webcam with two uh, microphones. Um, you have your track point here, which is signature, a fingerprint reader, and your power button. They don't have the uh, LED different displays, which I liked because it showed you what was going on if you're charging or not. Um, that one does not have this, the new ones. So let's do a... Start up time test. We'll put that right there. And three, two, one. So we're going to time it to get to the home screen. So I got 36.61 seconds for it to come from completely powered off to the start screen. Now that is an improvement for Windows 7, uh, 8, I'm sorry, 7 was a, bit, a little bit longer. Um, so right now I have the nice little fingerprint reader. Which is very convenient, gets you into the computer fast, not typing a password. Um, especially if you have a long password. Um, I do, because I like to keep my things secure. So it's nice to have a fingerprint swipe. Alright, so it logs in really quick, uh, very quick, right? When, you know, just a few little turns of the dial. Um... Windows 8 is a bit controversial. Uh, personally, me, I do not like it. But I know that with the new processor, the new everything that's new in it, Windows 8 would work better with this computer um, because the computer is built for Windows 8. Um, the trackpad. Let's move on to the trackpad. Okay, the trackpad, as you may know, is very, very controversial. There are many conflicting views on whether it is a good or bad. A lot of people say it's horrible, a lot of people say it's not that bad, a lot of people say, yeah, it's good, I like it. Me, I like it. I think it's very user-friendly, very responsive, no issues, I like how it's like... So, yes, I like the trackpad, very controversial on whether people like it or not. I think it's good. 
it's user friendly. So, um, I have the uh, upgraded Wi-Fi card here, the dual band uh, Intel. Let me go check my specs. Hold on one second. It was like thirty bucks more, or ten bucks more. It was wor well worth it because it just I'm able to connect. I, in my house, I got new Wi-Fi, the five uh, G Wi-Fi. I have the dual band wireless seven. D two sixty AC with Bluetooth, obviously. Um, so I'll just show you quickly. Boot up Chrome, and we'll go to something very intensive like eBay. Very quick. Um, so Facebook, Opt Online, which is a very Opt Online. I'm surprised because Opt Online is a very very inclusive website where it takes a while to load even on like you know and it's just a while but on here it's beautiful very quick very responsive um it, just in comparison i'll show you windows a uh internet explorer 10 um it's still quick not it's still quick um, I just know that when uh, Google Chrome is much better for the system. Um, I, another thing that I do not like is, um, we are in the 2014, um, Bluetooth has, uh, I'm sorry, Blu-ray has become probably the mostly used now, um, format for reviewing movies and, and doing things and, I mean, DVD's still up there, but I think Blu-ray's starting to overtake it because it's just much more better quality. And I'm just a little worried, uh, not understanding why they didn't make the drive Bluetooth capable or have a Bluetooth option. When I was talking to the rep, he said, we have one coming out in the near future. There is Blu-ray uh, Blu coming out, and you can just buy it, take this out, swap it, put the Blu-ray on in, and you're good to go. That is definitely a must do for me. Um, getting more into the pro uh, into the system, I have Office 2013 on here, which I love. I love the new Office. I think it's very nice. Just much more. It, it complements Windows 8. Um, The, the keyboard I like, people and like, I don't like it. A lot of people don't like it, a lot of people do like it. Um, I like it. Um, I did on here, I put Start 8 on here, which I was a must do because I'm not that big Windows 8 fan. And it just gives you a nice start menu where you could access all these things. But if you want to go to your traditional Windows 8 menu, you can. Another cool program that I have on here is called modern mix and what that does is you know they windows 8 made these new programs you know for example the, the internet explorer that that's new and if you want to open that it gives you the whole thing you can't get to your dock well now whoops that's not actually okay that was the regular internet explorer um where is it Huh. Okay, the new Internet Explorer is not on here. Alright, so, calendar, the new calendar. Now it opens up the calendar, this nice calendar, you know, it opens it up in... with your dock on here. It just puts it in a normal window, it's not that big screen view. And if you want to do your normal window, you just go here, here's your icon. And it's in your normal window. That's Modern Mix, and it's controlled by also F10. Not Search, okay, the Function key. Hold on. Push the wrong button, and you could get it out of it by clicking F10. I like it, I love it, so I could use the nice programs in nice ways. Um, so, let's do, this is, let's do some viewing angle shots. So it's still, it's the IPS display, very good viewing, and it has your nice 180 degrees um, flatness, it goes straight down to the table, 
which is nice. Um, it also has on here the backlit keyboard, which we'll do a shot of. It's got two modes. It's got uh, not as bright and then as bright. There is um, some, if you like just tilt it up, there's some under under light there, you know, um, but it illuminates the keys very nicely. I think it's, I, th I would rather, you know, people say with all the, how it like flushes out of the sides a little bit, and they don't like it. I would definitely take this over the think light up here because it just didn't illuminate anything really for me. Um, but I like, I like this. I would take this any day. Also a cool new light thing they did was the think light right here it's the it's the dot over the eye it lights up um to sh when the computer's on and then it blinks when it's sleeping but it's pretty cool tracks attention you know you're sitting in the coffee shop you're typing and you got that light going pretty cool um the brightness is all the way up on here that's volume Right, this is up. We'll do a volume test. I'll do a. I'll have sample music here. Usually, got sample music that you can play. Let's see. Maybe it's in the music app. You know, they are very weird with their new apps. The Xbox music. Okay, we need a update to There's just so many updates with this Windows 8. It's like all I feel like I'm doing is updating. I already got eleven updates. Just got it, you know, I've just been starting to use it. Alright, guess I gotta update it. Uh, so we'll just go to the web. Type in sample. Music. Nope. All I want is just some... All right, you know, we'll just go to YouTube. We'll just do uh, sample. Um. We'll type in Pitbull. Let's see what comes up for Pitbull. Pitbull, Timber. It's a popular song. Hey, we're back with my guest, Todd. What's going on here? Now it's I hate these things, these things. So not bad. Not bad for song sound, not bad. It's got the uh, Dolby home theater system on it, the thing where you can adjust levels and stuff. Not bad for sound. Um, the display is great. I love the display. Um, it's really clear, crisp. Everything is nice on it. Um, maybe we could go to maps. Let's see here. Get some. I just went to like Beverly Hills. Dolphin Road here. I'm gonna do a little zoom in. Let's see. So that is the computer screen. Let's see if we can get some focus.
Come on. Focus on me, focus. Well, as you can tell, it's very, very crisp. Very sharp. Very nice display. Okay, um, something to also note is that this graphics card is Bluetooth ready. So, in my briefcase, I have a Bluetooth player. And I could just hook this up to that, and you could watch a Blu-ray movie on here. Obviously, when I get the Blu-ray, I'll get rid of this. But for now, it does its job. Okay. Um, so that is something else to note. Alright. Um, so. Overall, the laptop is great. See, there's that thing in this right here. Let me get you a little close up here. This little lip here is like sticking out. It's sharp. It's annoying. I want to know if that's how the computer is. Because like when you're like this, you feel it. So I'll just leave a comment below on your views on that. Um, so I guess that's really it. Um... I don't know how much more, what much more there's to talk about on it, about it. Overall, the computer is nice, it's good, I like it. It's a power machine, the thing is, you know, it's got all the, that good processor in it. Oh, 500 gigabyte hard drive, forgot to mention that, 72 RPM, 7200. Um, maybe in the future I'd upgrade to an SSD. Right now I just do not have the money to, you know, blow this computer out of proportion. Um, but, I like it, I'm enjoying it. Um, so, if you guys have any other questions, want to know anything else about the computer, please leave a comment below. Um, if you like this, hit the like button. So, you know, check out my channel, check out the other videos I got on there, a lot of Lenovo, think another, the, I got the ThinkPad T440S on there, I unboxed and did a little review on it, and this was the T440P. Um, so if you like it, subscribe. Hopefully I could get some more stuff here to unbox and review. Maybe not so laptops, but other things. So, guys, have a good day, night, evening, weekend. See you guys later.